Welcome back to my channel. So um, I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. I decided to, aside apart from the other content, I see so far people wanting me to do do want to see me do a braid takedown and um, wash a routine. But let me be honest, I'm not taking out my braids right now. I'm waiting till literally like the third week of August. I just feel like I have so many appointments. Like this is a month of appointments. I'm just like, uh, um, this week I am going to be getting. My tooth extracted i had to change my appointment look i'm just praying to god i just pray to god that everything would just go smoothly um and then i have other like teeth appointments and this a lot this august i just but i'm hoping to schedule things i'm gonna be real and transparent i have not been in the gym since i came back from vacation that's another thing and then this week with me having the extraction and then also it's the time of the month like everything is just flowing in the wrong direction my hope and goal is that i can get back in the gym though hopefully hopefully by next week now my thing is because um i'm thinking though thursday and friday of this week if i'm not in too much pain teeth tooth wise i'm gonna try to if i don't go into the gym just do home workouts to kind of get myself back into working out because it's been a minute um and then but the goal obviously next week the following week and the following week those three weeks i'm trying i'm trying to go hard at the working out the only day i may not do it is probably one of the two other days that i have other appointments um but other than those two other days all other days i'm trying to push myself to get back in the gym um so yeah I really really regret not going to the gym the last week that like that was the wrong thing to do but it it was kind of like I had to like re what what initially happened is like I was slowly trying to get back into being back into New York number one and I had to edit that long vlog for you guys which please go check it out I tried to make it shorter like I really wanted to make it like 20 minutes but it, it just I couldn't make it 20 minutes it was like more stuff that I wanted to add I took out a lot trust me like it was about an hour and I condense it to 40 minutes but even still it was like really long so i understand but i like watching long vlog so that's what i put it up put it up hopefully i get more views on it if i don't um i'm just playing around with content really quickly though i wanted to just quickly talk about because i'm hot it is hot in here i'm actually gonna about to make some more cookies i showed it on my tiktok my, my tiktok and my instagram but i have not shown how to make it on we call this on youtube so since it's gonna be a weekly vlog i'm gonna show you guys how we make the the cookies I probably shouldn't be eating those cookies but we're gonna make them we just bought the ingredients um but what was i talking about so name change i don't know how many guys noticed didn't name change so i thought let me just kind of do a little quick thing of why i rebranded so everything changed the only thing i didn't change was my email address just because it was just going to be too much time consuming to change my gmail i already have other gmail accounts not because like the reason being this is like i work my work account obviously my personal account and then my business account and that's already three accounts that i have to manage i don't want to add and make a whole new thing so i kept my email natural as abby at gmail but everything else i rebranded so my channel name on all my social medias across is abigail susan maybe with a little differentiation like my instagram because apparently that name is very popular my last name is popular everything is popular that's not my last name but i'm just saying like my name is so common that it's hard to like have a name that's not found if that makes sense but anyway so the reason why i rebranded was one because i was tired of people calling me abby it's really annoying like especially if you don't know me on personal level and i say like you can call me abby i like to be called abby because that was the name i was given so that's also the thing i started to hate where brands would call me even uh, even regular daily there were people who just would randomly call me abby i'm like who told you to call me abby and sometimes like in my mind i want to say that but i don't say that but it's like at some point you're kind of like no my name is abby i'll call me abby i don't want to be called abby so that was one of the reasons why i'm tired of like people just call me abby just because like it's my heart is my name is not a hard name abigail is a very easy name so i don't understand why it's always like the easy short thing to just call me abby so i was tired of that so that's why i changed it number two i feel like i'm getting older you know and i wanted my channel to be more um really quickly yeah i wanted my channel to be more like about me as a as i'm growing into my channel but also something that i was gonna say not it lost the, the tip of my tongue 
um, as, as far as like so now I remember what I really was gonna say another reason why is because I was tired of when I try to tell people my channel name and they can never it's too much words pretty much natural as Abby I feel like and I, I never really love I'm gonna be honest when I made the fir my first channel name I didn't really love it to be honest I just wanted I needed a channel name and I was looking through like the generator thing and natural as Abby came up and I just uh, used that because everything else I was thinking of with Abby like again my name is common my nickname is common so it was not a lot good of good names at that point so I was also tired of that because when I'm telling people they're like ha 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 but I feel like Abigail Susan com both common names very easy to find then after he keep on saying like five signs like what's Abigail Susan Abigail Susan it's very easy to find as opposed to natural as Abby and it's more words to say so that was the second reason. So those are the two main reasons. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make the s'mores cookies. I'm gonna take the camera with you guys, with, with you guys, with me to show you guys. I am hot. I need some air. I'm turning about this fan on, and I don't think I have anything else to talk about for now. Um, I'm gonna. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm watching King of the Land. King of the Land. King of the Land. Comment down below if you guys wanted me to do a like my review. I thought about it. That would be different from my channel, but I'm thinking about doing like a review on King of the Land because I actually do like the show. Um, I don't see a lot of reviews on it, so I might do it. Let me know in the comments. But yeah.
Hey guys, so I want to really come come back and quickly talk to you guys. So first things first, I got my tooth extracted, as I said, because today's August the 8th. Um, I don't want to talk too much. Um, just wanted to give my little thing, because like I said, um, this is supposed to be my transparency um, video content. And I mean, I've always been trans transparent on my channel. Okay, so here's the ick already <laughs> of... Um, post up is the constant like drooling just overwhelming of saliva and yeah that's the most annoying part for me right now also it was like I can feel my mouth but I can't um the anesthesia did wear off but you can still feel like it's my mouth was I still feel like my mouth was swollen obviously I just had it done this today so it's gonna take a while um, I didn't bother showing you guys. I meant to pull up a camera and show you guys after a little bit what I did. But honestly, when I was tired because I went to sleep extremely late yesterday. I don't know if it was like anxiety too. So I was just keeping myself up instead of going to sleep. I don't know why I did that. I did take a nap earlier today. Um, I'm going to try to go to sleep early today. I'm just going to try like 10.30 and that's early for me. Um... Just because I have to still take one of my medications. So, of course, you get, like, medication for pain. To be honest, the pain hasn't been too bad. Other than the swelling and the overproduction of, like, saliva. It has, I don't feel, like, extreme pain. I will say, though, I do feel it's tender. Um, where the tooth was pulled out. I look ugly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. Luckily, this is kind of my bottom tooth. And when I talk, you don't really see it unless I'm smiling. So I think that's the only blessing, I guess. Because um, it wasn't one of my wisdom tooths. It was one in the front. Um, I ended up going to the place that I said I wasn't going to go initially. So if you didn't see, I had a vlog. I don't remember which vlog it is. If I remember, I'll link it. I think it was one of my day in life vlogs. When I was talking about making this appointment. I feel like I just was very anxious. So I ended up going back to the original place that I said I wasn't going to go to. Thankfully, it was just not a bad experience for me. Everything went smoothly. I was out, I will say, after an hour and a half, which is actually not bad. I, it could be worse because this place actually also, aside from you have an appointment, they also accept the walk-ins. So I didn't think it was horrible, to be honest. I went in for x-rays. I sat down for another about 30 minutes after that. Yeah, because my appointment was 9.30. I went in for x-rays so like 9.50. Um... And then about 10.30, I went in for the actual extraction. Um, let me tell you, though, I will have to say, I mean, I've always been, like, sharing with prayer. And I feel like even in my older videos, I would show you guys, like, me actually praying. Prayer works miracles. If you don't believe in Jesus, that's, that's you if you don't believe in God. But I'm telling you, like, I was, like, literally praying multiple times before this because I was, like, I know I'm be I'm having, like, my anxiety is on an all-time high already of how much pain I'm gonna be in also of the cost because I've talked about the just the frustrating process of going to multiple people to figure out whatever I'm glad that the tooth is actually out now I will have my Invisalign appointment next week so the, the one thing that did change that from the last thing I was initially gonna get an implant but my orthodontist had called me because it had been a minute since I've been um since she referred me but like she called me like three months later but that's neither here nor there um and i just explained to her like well yeah i still didn't get the extraction because i was pushing it to september but i decided let me just get it now because i knew september i'm going back to work and that's not gonna be good because me being in pain me having to go to work at the same time that's too much at least now i'm home i can i have i can actually rest and stay in my house i don't have to worry like oh the next day i have to go to work type of thing so this is probably a perfect time to get it done anyway um, so, but long story short, like I said, I talked to my orthodontist and the long story short is she told me that she will just be, she'll close the gap with my Amazon, which is going to take a longer time. So I know I'm definitely going to be my treatment. I already anticipated that I was going to be my treatment longer anyway. Um, but now I'm definitely going to be pushed back longer because now I have, because it's, the tooth is here, it's a big gap. So it's going to take a bit, a minute, but I mean, it has to do what it had to do. That's the thing about adulting like the appointments doing everything by yourself like anyway i don't want to talk anymore because i just feel like the drooling just the build up of saliva just gets worse but i just wanted to update you guys that i ended up getting my tooth pull 
and it wasn't a horrible experience thankfully as far as the place that I was going to because of like I said I saw other reviews that were bad some were good some were bad it was like but then everybody's gonna have a different experience some people are gonna have a good person doctor etc I'm just glad as I said before this I prayed because I was like I don't want to have somebody who's gonna like irritate me is already irritating enough having to take this tooth out but the doctor was really nice he was like if you feel any pressure or anything oh well, i was gonna feel pressure i did feel a little pressure but it wasn't too bad because i didn't want to be sedated um so i was like my eyes were open when they were pulling it out um but um other than that it was not bad the only thing i would say is the lady like while i like i was while i got the anesthesia she told me about the payment that I had to pay, and I'm like, and then the doctor, I liked the, the doctor was kind of like, she can pay when she goes out. Yeah, because I'm literally like, my mouth was halfway numb at this point. Um, because you know, you know, when you get anesthesia, that you gotta stay a little bit for it, for it to actually numb your mouth. And I'm like, in my mind, I was thinking like, lady, I, I, is this a time to pay right now? I'm sitting in the chair, I'm already have enough anxiety, and you asked me about payment. That was the only thing I was just like, you're going to get paid, relax, like I have to pay. But anyway, they have a door before you go out, it's not like I could have walked out and not paid, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, this was not the time to ask me about paying, but hey, whatever. But yeah, that's it. I said I was going to talk for 5 minutes, 7 minutes, so I'm, I think I'm, oh, by the way though, I'm going to end the vlog here. This is not the most eventful vlog, but uh, I think I'm still going to put it up anyway. Um, but yeah, so make sure you like, you comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and subscribe button so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.